Welcome back to Turbo Bob's Bicycle Blog, and I'm in the process of installing this uh, Magic Pie Golden Pie V5 motor from Luna Cycles, and uh, I'll see if I can get you some decent close-ups. So the wheel fit on. It's a thousand, maybe fifteen hundred watts. I was able to get uh, torque arms on both sides. Took a little doing on this side. It was a little tight, but I got everything real nice and smooth there. The motor mounted good and solid. Bolts are tight. Uh, this side might be a little darker. Got the torque arm here. Use the standard seven-speed uh, freewheel. The torque arm uh, cinched up real nice. Uh, also putting these old Planet Bike fenders on. I have to get some longer rods. Those are in the way. So when I finished up last night, and you know you can really do this really fast, but it's best not to. So I hooked the two main wires, the one from the display, one from all the controls, and uh, hooked up the battery. It ran fine. In fact, it ran at 49 mile an hour with no load. Now the handlebars turned out to be kind of an interesting deal, but I got everything on there. Everything's not touching. I uh, got my surface grips, little shorties. It's got uh, you know twist shifts on the other side. And normally you'd put that thumb throttle on the left side, but because it has a front shifting, it really worked out better here. So the display tucks in. My surface light, really bright links. Uh, my electric bell that's really one of the louder ones. Uh, the controls for uh, checking your modes and the cruise control and I did not do the pedelec on this. It didn't seem to have a pedelec option but that's fine. Uh, I really like the cruise control. So I got the brakes fully adjusted. In fact I went through uh, oh, yesterday or the day before and re-greased the front hub, cleaned the wheel. I'm getting ready to put that really cool wheel light on that I showed you last night. So this bike should handle the power. It's aluminum frame but it's really stout. Got everything in up front. Uh, cruise control. You can, uh, you know, check your speed, uh, distance, and stuff with that. It does have the buttons for the pedelec on there, but we won't be using the pedelec. Display works really nice. Super bright headlight. Also has surface uh, saddle that came with the bike. Really bright surface uh, rechargeable taillight. And I put those surface uh, drifter tires on there. They were really awesome on the last bike I had them on with thorn resistant tubes. Those should work really nice. They got a really nice tread pattern. Uh, they have thorn resistant uh, uh, tubes, but also the tires themselves are flat resistant. They got extra Kelvar or something in there. So this is a little Raleigh uh, SC30 is about ready to go with almost 15 watts, 1500 watts of power on a 48 volt battery. Now that battery is going to tuck in the frame just right. It's kind of a tight fit but it's going to really be nice and uh, you can run these on 52 volts but it says it does maybe offer a little bit more um, reliability issues a little more speed but I think 48 volts would be plenty and that battery has got a lot of amp hours buff an old folder okay so there you go the V5 conversion onto my Raleigh you know lots of times too I put these on uh, uh, temporarily. I think this will be on this bike a long time. So I did an extra good job tying up the wires up underneath the handlebar here. I got them tied real nice. A uh, nice loop here. Uh, so no binding when you turn. Everything seemed to tuck up pretty nice. And I uh, like to do it as nice as I can. But like I say, a lot of these conversions I do are just really temporary. So uh, you don't really, I don't really worry about the wiring too much. All right. So next up, I'm going to pull that front wheel off, mount that uh, programmable uh, wheel light on there. I was hoping to get a pair of those, but for this bike it won't be an issue, but hopefully they send me the other one because I want to put them on a bike uh, permanently that needs a pair of them. All right, well, thanks for following along. Turbo Bob's Bicycle Vlog.